Welcome. We are at Smitty's Diner, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, Smitty's that's where the Diner. From. Yes. Well, we're at Gladstone Bowl. 72nd, everybody knows where Gladstone Bowl is. 72nd in Broadway, right? Yeah. The this is Amy. Amy and I go way back. We have a lot of weird things in common. Uh, we were just talking about off camera. Um, but she, I got her on here because she's in town from San Diego. And she is the one who has recommended this place for a while. So we're Smitty's Diner inside Gladstone Bowl. This is the second burger review I've done in the bowling alley. Retro Bowl in Liberty was 8.2. So it has a lot to live up to. We do have a toasted bun, American cheese, uh, lettuce, tomato, no onion. So we'll dive into this um, real quick. You live in San Diego. Yes. In and out, yay or nay? Yay, big yay. Thank you, yes. It's not overrated, it's good. People who don't like in and out I've said this many times, people who don't like in and out just do it because it's a thing, it's now the thing to do, not to like it. I'm so trendy, I don't like it. Right. It's good, it's like Fresh and burgers are it's excellent. Good. All right, let's dive into this. Okay, um, I'm excited. we'll talk a little bit after this. One bite, you know the rules, you've seen them, right? Yeah, okay, we can use decimal points. I encourage decimal points. Okay, this is gonna be tough. It's less greasy than Retro Bowl, it's actually not greasy whatsoever, really. Um, pretty good. Can you put pickles on yours? No? No, I just eat the pickles plain. I'm just eating them as we walk. <laughs> we also got mozzarella sticks, which apparently are not as good as they used to be. No, they changed them. But their fries are still like the crinkle cut fries. So, that's a bonus. So, what would you rate this? Hmm. Let's have a bowling alley burger. Yep. It's not, you know, fine dining burger. No, it's not. It's a very much a but dive kind of. I yeah, I leave California with like In and Out and like world famous Odads, mm -hmm. and I still crave this. I mean, I feel like yeah, the fact that I like crave this burger is probably like an eight point five. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. It's just me personally. I grew up Wildly on it. Wildly high. I grew up on it. Nostalgic. Yeah, it's like comfort food. It's like High Boy to me though. Yeah, it's like, like I think High Boy is better than most people think because I grew up. Yeah, I think if I was like, man, I want comfort food, and I tried to eat a burger when I was craving this, I just wouldn't do it. Something about it. It's solid. It's not anything spectacular, but it's definitely not bad at all. Um, Seven point five. I like it. I would get it again, which is the rule. If it's over a seven, I would get it again. Um, yeah. I'm gonna respect that. I feel like they may have changed the bun. The, bit, the bun is huge. Right? Well, it's good. I mean, it's, it is. It's good. All right, so let's talk about common thing. We went to high school together. We went to middle school together. Yeah. But we have a common thread of health issues Yay. between us. <laughs> For those that I think most people know that watch this, but I have a pacemaker. I had open heart surgery when I was six months old. Uh, most people don't even know that, but um, know that you can't tell by looking, I guess, at me that I have this. I'm almost time for a new pacemaker, but I got mine done at KU Med, which ironically enough is where I... she had a more, uh, probably equal. <laughs> Pretty scary. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in the whole scheme of things, um, I had a liver transplant at KU Med almost eight years ago. Um, I had an allergic reaction to a medication. Um, just one of those random people that's allergic to everything and happens super fast. Um, so I was actually getting my prereqs for nursing school and boom, um, allergic reaction. I was actually listed to receive a liver on a Friday and got my transplant on a Sunday. So I was uh, status 1A. I had 48 to 96 hours to live um, and I was really, really fortunate enough to get the transplant and Living. So, so be people be an organ donor. Yes, it's so important. I know so she's important. big on this, but it is. I eventually may need a heart transplant at some point. That's what I've been told. Way down the road. I don't know if I'm gonna sign up for that or not, but we'll see. When you get there, we're gonna cross that road. Like but, 80. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know, liver transplants don't go to just alcoholics. Heart transplants don't go to smokers. Yeah, lungs. I think that's like the common thing. You say you have a liver transplant, everybody's like, oh, sugar oh, alcohol. That's... Or something was, yeah. you know what I mean? Oh, not... you drink that much that soon? But that I wasn't even drinking on this medication. <laughs> so the irony there. Right. But yeah, I mean, people need transplants for different reasons, yeah. three things, and it's. So we're both awesome. big fans of KU Med. Yes. Um, not KU, excuse me, but not, not so KU much. Med. Um, you like to travel. Yes. You live in El or, uh, like, uh, you live in San Diego. What is your favorite, where's your favorite city, non-California city? Non-California. And you can't say Kansas City. Denver. See, we have a lot of things in common. Definitely Denver. Yep. I'm going out there in like a month and a half. Yeah. You go see a Broncos game? Uh, no. no I would. No, no, no. <laughs> Drew Locke. Are you excited about Drew Yes, Locke? I'm pumped. Lee Summit, kid. Super nice kid, too. Great family. Yeah. Uh, his dad, do you know this? His dad owns like six Three restaurants. restaurants. Yeah. I, I actually, think it's six. Uh, I got the number wrong. Something like that. Worked with a girl whose family is good friends with their family. I worked for in San Diego. Really? So, yes. And she's from Carrollton, I believe. Mm -hmm. Worked with her in San Diego, and they're friends with a lot. Like, super small world. San huh. Diego can be very Kansas City like that. They do have Kansas City barbecue there. Yeah, I mean, Top Gun, I haven't been, I haven't heard good things, but uh, the Great Wall of the Fire scene from yeah. Top Gun was filmed there. Little Top tidbit. Gun 2 is coming out. Yes. I'm kind of excited. It's probably like a big reason. I haven't seen <laughs> yeah. Top Gun. In, I couldn't, I couldn't. That's your fault. Uh, Broncos predictions, you're a Broncos fan. Give me a real prediction. Do not give me some, like, they're going to win 10 games. Oh, we in the Super Bowl. Um... No. I just hope Joe Flacco can like not get injured, be consistently Mediocre. above how he's been playing, consistently a B minus I'd be happy with. I'm really, that's still being Our assistant's wishful. brother is a brother of man. Oh, is he He's 16. <laughs> oh, why'd you say that? You just ruined the whole thing. Uh, um, is he 16? Okay. Are you 16? Yeah, yeah. Scratch that question. Scratch that. We'll, edit. We'll, we'll edit that out, maybe. Yeah. Maybe not. Probably not. <laughs> or just embarrass me. Well, keep the part that I'm not interested now. Um. <laughs> um. I would say, I don't know. Um, I'd be happy with like eight and eight the way we have played the last yeah, two I think years. I I, I feel like that'd be. I think for the Chiefs, it's basically like Super Bowl bust, which is kind of crazy, but maybe we'll see. All right. Anything else we want to talk about? Decent um. burger. I expected more, but it's good. I, it's you not know, bad. It, I think they've changed a couple of things, which is kind of heartbreaking for me. They usually do. But, I mean, I'm still happy. So, no. I mean, my, I guess my closing remarks be like, be an organ donor. Yes, be an organ donor. Um, real estate, we didn't even talk about California real estate. Everybody knows it's ridiculous. Um, I'm not going to push real estate on mine today too much. Um, I do have, I'm trying to think. I do have a listing, a couple things though. Listing coming up in Lakewood. Um, it, by the time this airs, it should be on the market. Uh, on Lake Drive, 395, back to the water, four bedrooms, main level living. And then uh, in the next uh, probably month or two, probably two months, I'll have a four bedroom, two story home in Staley School District for under 250. So yeah, right? No, I mean, I'm not moving that's a back. Good deal. I'm saying that sounds yeah. really good. It's a good deal though, it is. Yeah. So be on the lookout for that. We'll wrap it up. Thanks for doing it. Thank you Good for having you. me. All right, we'll see you guys next week.